Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your guide Elena from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine and in this video I will show you how Ukrainians celebrate Epiphany, the holidays that we in Ukraine call Vodokhrishche. about the event in the Bible when Jesus Christ has bapt was baptized in the river. Eastern Orthodox, we celebrate it on the 19th of January. So today is Wednesday, 19th of January. I'm here for you filming this event. Why we do this? Basically, people like repeat after Jesus Christ. On this day, he was baptized in the river, and according to the Bible, it happened like this day. And people repeat this, even though, you know, the church, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, they say they do not encourage people to swim into this water. So it's absolutely people's celebrations and people's interpretations of the holiday. The church say, says, go to the church, Yes, over there people uh, go and pray, they put a candle, and as well they can take the water. Uh, they believe that this day all the water is sacred, so it can, heal, it, it can heal you from diseases, it can help you, it is like sacred. I remember myself when I was uh, a teenager, my mother often washed my face with this water that she took from the church, you know, to wash away my sins that I my evil thoughts that ha I had in my mind so what these people do basically they kind of want to wash away all their sins that they have done in their life uh, during the last year but looks like these days it becomes more like fun uh, people want you know just to try it how it feels and they say it feels really really uh, very very good <laughs> <laughs> like very excitement they say after you dive into these frozen waters you feel like euphoria like a great excitement and this uh, energizes you a lot that fills you with a lot of energy why have you decided to swim why do you want to do this uh, this is uh, really cold uh, really very really cold but uh, after after it's uh, I, I don't know, very cool, hot, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to ask it, uh, but it's really cool. So really it's cool. not your first time? Yes, uh, this is my first time, this is first time, and uh, this is uh, cool, really cool. As well, if you do this regularly, I'm sure you will not be afraid of COVID, uh, or at least you will be strong enough to meet with this disease. They say if you do this regularly, you are much more healthy than average person. Well, uh, you need to have strong spirit, you need to be in good health to do this. The doctors, they emphasize that, guys, if you want to do this, you need to prepare your body in advance. So at least half of the year in advance, you need to take contrast shower, you know, to change hot and cold water, and uh, to wash yourself with the cold water every day, and maybe even try, you know, to swim before this holiday. <laughs> But sometimes uh, we can see this from uh, from here that obviously many people are simply not prepared. You know, they just decide and they and they do it. <laughs> so far, there are no bad cases, and the lifeguard said that they don't have to rescue anyone. What they do, they try to prevent. Uh, any bad cases and the only bad cases that are happening uh, is when people come here with some alcohol in their blood this is something that is absolutely forbidden because if you take alcohol you know your blood vents they like you don't feel frozen and that's bad because you don't hear the signal from your body and uh, you can you know uh, lose your mind or something you can be not really careful uh, so alcohol is forbidden before uh, during and afterwards but again what i can see over there on the riverbank some people kind of celebrate their event of diving into the waters 
so this year everything is very well organized you can uh, buy hot hot tea coffee and even hot wine even though you are not recommended but you can buy it here you can buy some food so people are celebrating if, even if they are not swimming or if they are swimming That, that smells and uh, looks very good. So this is shashlik, you know, a barbecue, what you call barbecue, we call it shashlik. There's yes, like small tables nearby where you can settle and have a bite. And even the slide for children. <laughs> My kids like this. Uh, so we have the same slope near our, not far away from our house. So they really enjoy doing this. There are altogether 15 locations, official uh, locations in Kiev where you can dive into the water on this holiday. Official locations, which means uh, the water is prepared, you have a very comfortable, you know, uh, entrance into the water and there are bodyguards, uh, safeguards that are watching you and in case if you need help, they will help. So these guys can even, you know, dive into the water in case you want to. To check it what is there under the ice yes yeah, so so far they had no uh, no 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 need to, to to try their skills so you don't need to register for this event or something anybody can do this so you are not checked in advance they don't check your blood pressure your age or a anything so it doesn't matter whether you are big or you're very slim uh, whether you are like uh, an adult or even an old person or you're just a child in this case your parents decide for you what to do <laughs> So anybody can do this and what we can see really people of different age or different background do the swimming and so far nobody nobody is disappointed everybody looks happy I don't know why and how it feels because I've never tried it myself but I believe it's really cool and honestly speaking I'd like to try it one day oh. Oh. Uh, some of my, of my friends did it and they say that wow but I think for for us for me for people like me it's like you know one time event you know once upon a time I jumped with from the airplane with a parachute so for me maybe this is the same just you know a challenge to 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 try can you do this or not so if you guys uh, visit Ukraine uh, somewhere about 19th of January for sure my advice is to you know visit this event to see how it looks to feel how it feels because you know you can feel here some kind of energy around this and maybe you will decide even to try it yourself Uh, I, I really last year I've met a couple of foreigners here who were trying this just you know for for experience uh, today so far I, I haven't met anyone <laughs> like this so the weather is perfect for this kind of the event it's freezing it's minus three degrees in the air that means the water is warmer it's plus three degrees in the air and they say it's better when the air is colder than the water you can warm yourself in the water well after you get, get out maybe it's quite frozen and as you can see the Dnipro river is frozen you know not absolutely it's still the ice it's like quite thin but you can see over there are people, those are fishermen and they go fishing, they're just standing, sitting on the ice. Well, uh, the rescue uh, guys, they don't like it because from time to time they need to save some of these people and unfortunately it ends very bad in some of the cases. Yeah, but this is a local tradition. In the winter time, fishermen wants to go on the ice. And yeah, this is a tradition that we have on the 19th of January. Okay guys, 
So this was your guide Olena from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. Don't forget please to press this like button if you like this video and subscribe my channel not to miss any new videos on this channel and uh, ask in the comments whatever you want to ask. And if you feel like you want to support my channel, then the links are below in the comments. So it was pleasure as always. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.